Good morning, everyone. So I'm Vinita Sharma, and I will be taking your English class. Glad to have seen you, met you. Uh, so let's begin with the class. Uh, when I was just as young as you are, I used to always think, um, why only the birds can fly and I'm not able to fly? Uh, I used to love mermaids also, and I used to think that are mermaids real or it's just an imagination? Then one day, because I'm from Rajasthan, I saw a camel and I saw a big, big hump on the camel. And that got me really thinking that how does a camel have a hump? Because we don't have a hump. The bird doesn't have a hump. Um, the dog doesn't have a hump. So why only a camel? And then I read a story from Rudyard Coupling who told us that, you know, this is the way that a camel was lazy and that's how camel gets a hump. So today we are going to be thinking, reading and listening to a story about an elephant. Okay, now when you see this elephant, you will notice that it doesn't have a trunk. So was it like it's like a magic that it doesn't have a trunk or have I edited this trunk? What do you think it would be? Or it's kind of an elephant. Um, maybe in Africa we have different elements and in India we have different elements. So what is this magic or it's a story behind how the elephant got its trunk. So this picture is of a baby elephant in front of you and it doesn't have a trunk. So the nose is just a spot of nose that you can see, although it looks sweet and cute even without the trunk. So let's see what is the story all about today. So the title of the story is How the elephant got its trunk. Once there lived a herd of elephants in Africa. Now remember a herd of elephants means many many elephants. So you if you have more than two three animals it is known as a herd of elephants. And the story is about a country called Africa. They had bulgy nose. So if you have noticed the nose here, this is called a bulgy nose where it doesn't have a trunk. And bulgy is something which is coming out. So that's the kind of nose that the elephants had. So there was a baby elephant who was very, very curious about everything. The way all children are. How does this happen? Where is it this coming from? All of us have lots and lots of questions. Similarly, this baby elephant also had a lot many questions. So one of the questions that he asked one day was, what does the crocodile have for dinner? Now this reminds me of my dinner. I have the same dinner every day, chapati, vegetable and lentils. But this elephant is a little, little curious. Is crocodile also having the same kind of meal every day or does it have something different? Now remember children, crocodile is an animal which is there in the water. So he can't come home and eat a chapati or rice or pork. So he must be having something which is already there in the water. But still, the baby elephant was very, very curious. He does not get the answer and hence decides to find out himself. So you must think that when you want an answer to the question, sometimes your parents would respond, sometimes they just do not. So that's what is happening to the baby. He wants an answer, what is it eating? But mama, papa just not responding. The friends do not know, so nobody is responding. He doesn't get an answer. And he decides, all right, I'm going to find this answer myself. So he goes and on the way, he asks 
the Kolo Kolo bird. So this bird is very, very famous bird in Nagaland. I don't know whether you've seen it. I have seen it once or twice. So it's a beautiful red colored bird and which is famous in Nagaland. So the baby elephant goes to Kolo Kolo bird and says that, do you know where does the crocodile live? Because I want to really ask, what does he eat for his dinner? So do you think the bird is going to respond or she is going to be just ignoring and saying, ah, what kind of a question is this? So let's find out. So this is our Limpopo River and the bird responds that if you want to find out where is the crocodile, you have to go towards the Limpopo River. Now this river is also a famous river of Nagaland. So we found two things that are famous to Nagaland. One is the bird and the other one is the river. So Kolo Kolo bird and Limpopo river. So you must find out the other things that are famous in Nagaland and tell us all about to me, to your friends, to your neighbors. So let's see if the crocodile is finally found or not. When the baby elephant asked the crocodile, what did he have for dinner? So which means finally he has found the crocodile and he's asking, what do you have for dinner every day? He asked him to come closer so that he could whisper in his ears. So crocodile is quite intelligent, quite cunning. And what is it saying? It says that if you want to really know what do I eat for my dinner, come closer. I don't want everybody else to know what I'm eating. So you come closer and I am going to whisper in your ears. Now children, do you think it's a good idea to go near the crocodile? I don't think so. If I was the baby elephant, I would never ever go. But baby is a baby and he really has no idea about what is going to happen next. He doesn't know that it could be dangerous. So not thinking about the dangers, the baby elephant puts his head close to the crocodile and, 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 and think what's going to happen. Is he going to be caught or he's going to be eaten by the crocodile or what is happening? Oh my God, I am a little afraid. I am a little scared about it. Okay, so this is what is happening. The crocodile is there inside the water. The baby elephant's bulgy nose has been taken by the crocodile and he's trying to pull it towards him. So which means that he is wanting to maybe eat a little bit of the elephant or maybe to harm him in some way. But certainly crocodile is not a nice animal here. He's really not thinking of good. So here we go, the bulgy nose is in the mouth of the crocodile. And the crocodile is pulling and pulling and pulling the nose. A python saw his distress. Distress is when somebody is in pain and coiled himself around his hind legs. So a python fortunately and luckily for the baby elephant sees that the crocodile is going to certainly kill the baby. So he comes and he tries to save and coils himself around his hind legs. Now both, both means the python and the baby elephant, both are trying to pull away from the crocodile. Now remember, the bulgy nose is already there in his mouth. So I don't know how much of strength would they need 
to be away from the crocodile's mouth. And soon the baby elephant realized that his nose had stretched because of pulling. Oh God, so remember the nose which was such a small and a tiny one. It has stretched long and long and long. And the baby elephant waits to get his nose shorter. But it does not go back to its original position. And this is how the elephant got its trunk. So now we know how did the elephant got its trunk. Now this is only the baby elephant who's got the trunk. Not the mama, not the papa, not the friends, nobody else. But this elephant is going to be looking a little different from the others. Are the family going to laugh at him? They are going to make fun of him that what nose is this? What is this? We've not seen it anywhere. Or they are going to like it. Or may they are going to be sad that, oh my God, what has happened to the baby? But all the other elephants love the baby elephant's trunk so much that all of them went to the crocodile to get one. So everybody has gone because they love the trunk so much and they all want to be just like the baby elephant. So finally, the baby elephant is happy because it has made the other elephants also just like him with the trunk. So this was the story for today. Now we are going to do some revision based on the story. So I do hope that you loved the story and you're going to read it by yourself and enjoy it. If you loved it, you can also share it with your friends. You can share it with your sisters and brothers and try to tell them that it is not imagination. This is what I know that the elephants did not have the trunk before, but this is how they got the trunk. So let's start with the revision and there is the question number one. So where did the baby elephant first meet the crocodile? Mm, let me think, where was it? Was it um, a mountain or maybe the crocodile came home to meet the elephant? Did that happen? No, I don't think so. Ah, oh yes, there was that river. There was that river. What was that river? river's name? Limpopo River. So that's where the baby elephant first met the crocodile. Then let's go on to question number two. Who told the baby elephant about the Limpopo River? Remember we had that beautiful red bird. What was the name of that bird? Think, think, think. What was the name? Uh, it started with K. Yes, you got it right. It was Kolkolo River. So, sorry, Kolkolo Birds. So that's where the baby elephant knew where to find the crocodile. So let's go to number three. Come near little one, come nearer and I will whisper. Who said this to the baby elephant? So remember, it was the crocodile who said this to the baby elephant. And that is how the elephant gets stuck in the crocodile's mouth. Now let's find out the spellings. Remember, there was this word called curious in the story. So let's find out which one is the right one because all of them start with the sound k, k. So k, u, r, i, o, u, s. Is that the one? Or c, u, r, i, o, u, s. Or it's like curious, C-U-R-I-U-S. So which one is it? 
Is it the first one, the second one or the third one? Now remember, K is C. K is not K. So it says curious and OU is a sir. So the second one curious is the right answer. Let's go on to the second one. Trudging. Trudging is where you have a long walk and you get tired by that long walk. So that's called trudging. So trudging, triaging, trudging, T-R-U-G-I-N-G. So which one is the right one? There's a little bit of confusion between the first and the third, right? Because trudging and trudging. Trudging I know is not the one. So which one would it be? Trudging DG or trudging just G? Mm, so if you know your blends, you would know that D and G together would means ja. So the first one trudging is the right one. Now let's go to the third word. Winked. Everyone knows what's the meaning of wing when you try to close one eye looking at the other one. So, winged and the third one is winked. Yes, the third one, winked, W-I-N-K-E-D is the right one. Now, let's go to the fourth word that we had, splaced, splashed or splashed. Splashed. Remember the middle one that's double A, double A would be ah. And the third one, sp, sp, your blend, l, a, sh, e, d. So splashed. S, p, l, a, s, h, e, d. So let's quickly revise. The first correct spelling was the middle one, C-U-R-I-O-U-S. Second one was T-R-U-D-G-I-N-G. The third is W-I-N-K-E-D. And the fourth one is S-P-L-A-S-H-E-D. So those were your correct spellings. You can also find out other words in the story. And you can play a game with your friend, give him the correct one and the incorrect ones and see whether he's on the right track or you are on the right track. Let's go on to the next one. So now this is a homework which I am only going to explain it to you. I'm not telling you the answers, I'm just going to explain it. So tick the correct answer. The crocodile, so you have three choices. Wanted to play with the baby elephant, wanted to eat the baby elephant, had a bad throat and could not talk loudly. So think, why did the crocodile take the nose in his mouth? Was it something that he wanted to play with, wanted to eat or had a bad throat? I know you would know the correct answer, so I don't think I need to wait. Quickly, you can give me the answers on the count of three. Crocodile wanted to. One, two, and three. I'm not telling you the answer, that's for you. All right, so the crocodile caught the baby elephant. You again have three choices by his tail by his nose or by his leg. So a crocodile or a baby elephant has a tail also to nose. So remember when you have choices, always remember to cancel the things which are just not possible. So tail, was it there, nose or leg? So three choices. Everyone would spank the elephant's child. Now spank is when you are being hit or just slapped or a little nudge on your back by your parent. That is called spanking. So the child, the baby elephant was spanked. Why? Was he because it was that he was very naughty 
or he was asking too many questions or he was as big as a boot. So three choices again. Think why was he being spanked and why did the parents not respond? Was it because he was very naughty, asking too many questions or he was as big as a boot? All right, so all of us know the letters from A to Z or A to Z. So we are going to arrange these words in alphabetical order. So you know A comes before and then B and then C. So that's how we are going to do it. So the first, the first set of words that you have are cat, joke, ball and dog. So the first letter is A. We don't have anything with A. And then you have the first with B. So B is your ball. After B, letter C comes. So that would be cat. After C, the letter D comes. So then it would be dog. And the last one is joke. So if we were to put it in the alphabetical order, it would be bat, cat, dog, and joke. The next one, flag, zoo, goat, and sun. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So F is the first. So flag. Then after F is G. So goat. Then S, sun. And the last one is the letter Z or Z. So that is zoo. So flag, goat, sun, zoo. The next set of words are ear, box, horse and coat. We all know letter B is the first one, so box, then comes letter C, coat, then comes ear, and then E, F, G, H, H is the last one, horse. So box, coat, ear, horse. Then yard, eyes, note, boat. So again, the letter B, so boat, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so I and then note and then yard. So boat, eyes, note and yard. The last one, mouse, kind, owl, can. So K, sorry, C, that's the first one. Can, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Okay, so kind, mouse and owl. So that's how we arrange the words in the alphabetical order. So, whenever you get the time, I would want that you write different places. Places means your cities, your towns, your districts, or any uh, tourist spot that you have in Nagaland, the names of the rivers, mountains, and write them in a notebook if you have one. If you don't have a notebook, just discuss it with your elders in the family and tell them how much you know about your own state called Nagaland. So that's the end of the lesson. I do hope that you enjoyed the story and you know now why elephants have your trunk. So bye from now.